This is uh, video number one of uh, converting your uh, RCA Victor 45 RPM record player to battery operation uh, using one of my kits. And I figured I'd make a video because there are a few things that are confusing about it. Are not very confusing, but they can be confusing. So we're going to cover it and get into it right away. These are be a couple of short videos because again, I can't with my old computer. I can't stitch videos, so I have to make a series of small videos. Anyway, begin by taking apart the uh, your record changer, taking off the original motor, and just discarding it. You won't be using it anymore. What you'll be left with is this: your old motor mount. The drive wheel. Your drive wheel has to be good, by the way. If it needs some, uh, if it's a little bit slip, if it slips, uh, or if it's glazed, uh, just clean it up with some lacquer thinner. Good rule of thumb: if you can dent your fingernail into it and you can feel it's it's still squishy, then it'll be good. And if there's no flat spots on it, just clean it up, as I say, with some lacquer thinner. And then take the three uh, rubber motor mounts that I gave you and put them in the the holes to replace the old rotted ones that were in here. It'll end up looking like this. And then to uh, locate the uh, mounting holes for the motor, for the new motor, here's a motor mount without the motor in it. This is the original hole where the shaft of the motor came through. Take a ruler and put the ruler here at the end of the ruler and put the half inch, the, the motor new motor center is one inch. So you want to go to the half inch mark and put it right in the middle of the hole and then make a mark at the beginning of the inch. You'll see it right after the 18 there. And then put the other mark in the beginning right before the 17 there. Those are going to be the two marks you make to drill a 1 8 inch hole through there at approximately that position. That will give you a motor that's eventually mounted just like this. Now I gave you four washers with the two special metric screws. You put two washers under the head of each screw. Two washers under this screw, two washers under this screw. That's necessary because the screws are too long and they'll bottom out in the motor and you'll strip them if you try to over tighten them. So mount the motor so that you see the stepped area here. I put it so that the little circuit card connector is in this position right like that. Be very careful. This is a very fragile board and it's easy to crack off, so be very careful. This will be your plus and minus uh, voltage input that we'll get to later on when I do the amplifier part. This little cord that came with it with the pot on it is your speed adjust. That you only have to adjust once when you assemble it and you get it all done. Then you can tuck that inside the player and not worry about it again. It'll keep the speed constant from about 8 volts to 15 volts. So you won't have to readjust it once you get it in and adjusted. So you see here we're all set to put this into the record changer and uh, we're going to get to the amplifier mounting and amplifier wiring in the next video. That may come today, it may come tomorrow. It depends on if I can get the damn lawn mowed because we have so, we've had so much rain, uh, it has to be done, but uh, trying to get some time before it starts raining yet again, I have to kind of fit that in even though I don't want to do it. So anyway, stay tuned, there's going to be more.